Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at eTrailer and today we're taking a look at the Reese Explorer cargo carrier on a 2020 Ford Escape. So when going on those trips or camping or just kind of doing some household projects, this is great to be able to throw all that stuff on here and it's not gonna get the inside of your car dirty. So if you're gonna go put some mulch around your landscaping and you don't need to load it up in your vehicle, you can put it on here. It's gonna make it nice and easy, gonna keep the mess out. And also there's plenty of points to actually strap down. You can see there's holes along the entire edge here. So putting a ratchet strap or a bungee strap over your loaded items is gonna be great. There's also some cargo nets available that we have here available e-trailer. It's really gonna cinch all this down. Now this large footprint at 48 by 32 is gonna allow you to actually get some larger items on here as well. There's a ramp available to get your wheeled objects on here. So whether it's a mower or a powered wheelchair or a scooter or something along those lines, you can actually wheel those up. There's also gonna be a light kit available too if you'd like to put lights on the back of the cargo carrier. Now the hitch on the Escape is rated at a tongue weight rating of 525 pounds and our cargo carrier is rated at 400. So as long as you adhere to that 400 max capacity, you're not gonna overload the hitch on your Escape. Now it's large footprint is something to keep in mind in the fact of when we measure from the for this point of the rear fascia to the edge of the cargo carrier, we're adding 39 inches onto the total length of the vehicle. So definitely important to keep in mind if you're backing into spots um, and also just while driving around. Now, as far as how close you are to the vehicle, you have a nice little gap here of about seven and a half inches. So if some of your accessories kind of hang over a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Now, something to keep in mind too, is having clearance for when your hatch opens. That way, if you have a cooler here, uh, you can actually kind of move it around and make sure that your hatch opens if you need to gain access to here. So I'm gonna open this up and our break even point, we're gonna try to measure that and see how high we can actually stack here. So as I move this down, we're gonna see where it kind of breaks the plane here. And I would say right about 20 inches or so. So that's a decent amount of height. 20 inch point is right here. So even putting a standard cooler here should work plenty fine to be able to still gain access to your hatch. Now the shank it has a slight raise to it, which is gonna be nice to give you a little bit more ground clearance here. So on the rear of the vehicle, we're coming in right at about 14 inches. So I don't worry about flat ground making any contact, but if you are going to a campsite or if you're driving on an incline, just keep in mind that this could actually potentially get close to the ground. So it's just something to keep in mind when you have this on the back of your vehicle. Now the graded design here that serves as the actual floor of the cargo carrier is really nice because you can actually put any, uh, you know, like I said, dirty things, lawnmowers, whatever, and then you can rinse it out and it's all gonna drain out. You're not gonna have any mud or grime buildup in here. So it also cuts down on the weight, but also still gives you a nice firm uh, support platform here because you have your braces going in between them. Now this is gonna be a two inch by two inch shank, so just make sure that your trailer hitch receiver is a two inch before picking this up. Something that's really nice too is it actually comes with the pin and clip to get this in place. Here you see it out on our test course. First is the slalom, which shows the side to side action to simulate turning corners or evasive maneuvers. Next are the alternating speed bumps, which show you the twisting action, such as hitting a pothole, road debris, or going over a curb. Finally, we will finish with the solid speed bumps, which show the up and down action to simulate a parking garage or coming out of a driveway. And that was a look at the Reese Explorer cargo carrier on a 2020 Ford Escape.